earlier in this lecture we have been doing uh, okay let me yeah so in the last lecture uh, we had studied lots of terms okay and now let's okay so in the last lecture we had studied about phase space phase space density and steady state okay so in the last lecture we had studied that uh, the phase space uh, in the steady state is constant okay so the phase space no more phase space are created no more phase space are destroyed so if you haven't watched that video just go and watch that first so that's a very uh, basic power, uh, basic introduction okay so so what we have done that uh, the phase space density uh, this del rho by del t will be zero in the steady state case okay so whenever something uh, is uh, neither created nor destroyed okay so in that case we uh, uh, you know that we always have a continuity equation okay so we have an equation of continuity okay so similarly in this case also we will be having that so suppose that we are having a a volume okay uh, let's say this one or any volume you can consider okay so if you have some volume and we have the uh, phase space uh, phase space uh, in this volume okay so these points are uh, the phase space points okay let's say uh, just in uh, imagination if you understand so the phase space density is in a, uh, so no more phase spaces are added and no more uh, earlier phase spaces are destroyed okay so it will remain constant that is what the equation of continuity is so uh, equation of continuity uh, is basically in the case of steady state okay so you have to uh, understand this this thing that equation of continuity is always in the case of steady state in the current in the electrodynamics if you have, if you have studied you have seen that in the state a case of a steady current uh, yeah, you have uh, studied about the equation of continuity of current okay so current density is there here we will be having the probability density okay the phase space probability density so so rho d tau uh, let's say rho d gamma so d, uh, d gamma is the uh, phase space volume okay so if you integrate this uh, so this will give me the total phase space h okay so this is the phase space density number of microstates okay and this is the uh, phase uh, space volume okay if you integrate it you integrate it you will get the total number of microstates and it will remain constant with time okay so if you differentiate this thing with respect to time it will remain zero okay so in this volume if it's i think it's a closed uh, volume okay so you can write uh, rho uh, v dot ds in this closed volume okay so we, what we are doing right now we are doing continuity equation okay so let me write that <coughs> equation of continuity so this will uh, this thing rho v d dot uh, ds okay so this is for the closed volume okay so i will put in close integral sign here and it is you uh, know it is equal to it, it can be written as uh, this closed integral and v dot ds can be written as divergence of rho okay divergence of uh, rho dot v times this volume okay volume element uh, instead of this uh, surface uh, element okay so this is for this is integral over the surface and this is the integral over the complete volume okay so this can be written as like this and um, so the phase space density that is uh, del rho over del t Uh, is equal to so if i say uh, the new number of uh, this phase space density can be written as negative of this okay so you can uh, take it on the 
right side okay so i basically taken that uh, integral sign out okay you can take this together and you can write it as del rho over del t plus plus is equal to zero so this is the equation of continuity and it is always in this form only okay so if you have to write the equation of continuity for the current density you will take this row out okay and this row here out you will replace it by j so the if you have any time if you have, if you need to find out the equation of continuity or you have to write the equation of continuity you need to just uh, uh, understand i'll just learn this form okay the form is del over del t del over del t over this divergence v okay so whatever you need for current so you, you need to just put the current term here okay and that will be equal to zero so this is the equation of continuity equation of continuity okay so uh, in the equation of continuity if i write the v that is the velocity what is this v this is the velocity of the phase space okay so this is basically uh, you can if you if i write it in matrix form you can write it as q1 dot okay q2 dot uh, for the two particles you have q and q2 only okay similarly if you have p1 dot okay p2 dot so basically the phase space that is q and p it's a uh, derivative of that time derivative of that okay so this is the uh, v okay phase space phase velocity we say it as phase velocity okay and similarly the divergence is defined as this divergence quantity uh, is defined as so this is the derivative with respect to this phase space okay so it's like uh, uh, del over del q1 del over del q2 okay for two particles only this one this much only and del p1 del p2 okay so like this uh so if you write this so you have to take this thing in uh so if i just used to go to further solve it okay so the equation of continuity this can be written as uh this uh this row is okay uh, no change in this this can be changed okay this can be written as this this term okay this can be written as okay okay let me separately write this okay so there is q items so there are p items this will be further uh, dy this will be further simplified as if you take v here uh, pi dot okay so del uh, pi dot by del q will be zero okay so that will be meaningless to write because that will come to zero so we only have q y dot here that is in uh, in v we have only q uh, generalized coordinate velocity okay and here del pi is there so we only take rho pi dot now if you further solve this you, you will be having rho times uh, del over del q of q y dot plus uh, plus you can have q y dot times del rho by del q y plus for this term you can write as del rho over del pi and uh, pi dot plus del pi dot by this del pi row times row okay so you can write it uh, like this and uh, further you can simplify this okay so up till now i have done this let me write it here del rho over del t plus so what is this term del q y dot by del q y dot by q y so this is uh, you can you know that in classical mechanics we have uh, if you remember so let me write it in different color
so we have uh, if you know i hope definitely we will be knowing so qi dot is equal to del h uh, over del pi okay so h is the hamiltonian and this pi dot is equal to minus del h by del qi okay so i hope you know this uh, so simply you have to just replace this qi dot we can write it as del h by del uh, pi okay so this will be summation uh 1 to 6 okay so six generalized coordinates are there so del uh, rho over del qi and this qi dot uh this qi dot also where i was i okay yeah del rho by del qi and this qi dot can be written as this qi dot can be written as uh del h by del pi okay similarly i can go uh, for this one uh for this term del qi dot by del qi so i will write it here so this this will give me a rho times del 2 h by del qi okay because qi dot is uh, basically uh, del h by del pi so this is del qi del pi okay like this similarly if you solve this one del pi dot uh, by del pi so pi dot can be written as minus so pi dot can be written as minus del h, del h by del qi and if you differentiate with respect to del pi again so you will get an del square del pi again okay so we this uh, with a minus term okay so do uh, so both these terms will get cancel this and this will get cancel okay so what will be having we will be having del rho over del qi del h by del pi a uh, minus this term del rho over del pi a del pi uh, dot can be written as del h by uh, del h by del qi okay so now it's okay so this is a simplified term and uh, you can write this as the poisson bracket you can uh, write it as like poisson bracket okay so this is basically hamiltonian and this is uh, probability phase space probability density okay the uh, phase space density you can say so this is basically the continuity equation reduced to in this form okay so it's a much a simpler form and it gives a lot of information about the rho that is probability density and that's why this is important okay so this is called the leverage theorem okay so this is what we say the leverage theorem so what this what does this mean what does this imply so this implies that this rho this rho in the case of a steady state okay so in the case of a steady state what happens this del rho by del t is zero we know that this this is zero in case of steady state in case of steady state and so if this is zero and this is zero so this have to be zero okay so this is a restriction put under that this have to zero have to be zero how will you, uh, will this happen this will happen only when rho is a function of hamiltonian okay <laughs> only then this it is possible so this gives a very much uh, idea about the so this puts a restriction okay on the possible uh, possibilities of this probability this density at uh, the phase space density that the phase space density density in case of in case of uh, steady state must be a function of hamiltonian okay so this thing you must have to note down so if someone says that uh, rho is like this one rho is defined like uh, p1 uh, x p2 p1 y p1 z uh, plus p2 x p2 y p2 z for two particle system so it, 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 this is never correct okay because it is not a function this is not a function of hamiltonian okay this can uh, hamiltonian is of the form hamiltonian is of the form p square by 2m okay like this 
and there is p cube term okay so it is uh, it can't be uh, a steady state phase space distribution okay so this is what we say uh, a restriction okay called leverage theorem so leverage theorem puts a restriction on the distribution of the probability so this is a restriction put by the leverage theorem and it implies that probability distribution function should always be a function of the hamiltonian okay now this is not only this is not the only restriction okay we also uh, this is the restriction put by the mechanics okay now we also have the restrictions put by the thermodynamics okay so thermodynamics restrictions thermodynamics restrictions so what we have it totally depends on the the system the kind of uh, uh, the kind of walls okay walls we take okay so the kind of walls we take so suppose so let me okay so if we have an isolated system so the walls are such that uh, the system remains isolated okay so for this we should uh, must have a uh, isolated system and if isolated system helps in preventing the number of particles okay so whatever the number of particles are in the system it will remain so okay and the volume will also remain so there is no uh, pressure applied okay and the energy of the system will remain so okay and this is what we say what we uh, study a micro canonical ensemble so this type of ensembles okay where these things are conjugated okay the n and v and e are conjugated are called micro canonical ensembles similarly if, if the system is such that if the system is such that uh, the walls are walls allow the heat flow okay walls allow the heat flow so heat flow is allowed and <coughs> sorry so walls are uh, the heat flow is allowed and the temperature so that is the t uh, isothermal wall you can say okay temperature is constant and again the n and v is constant okay so such nvt when nvt are the constant then we study it as this type of ensembles this type of systems is called canonical ensemble okay so this is called canonical ensemble now next thing we study uh, when the uh, this chemical potential okay when the chemical potential uh, is constant okay so the heat flow is allowed uh, the particle uh, can also flow okay so the n is also not constant so only thing which is constant is mu v and t okay so the, this is chemical potential this is volume and this is the temperature so this is called as grand canonical ensemble so this uh, these are the three types of ensemble we need to study it's not like these are the only ensembles okay there are uh, um, there may be other type of uh, ensembles also uh, which we may have different type of constant parameters okay so basically we need to study this uh, this type of ensembles now this type of walls restrict the uh, number the possible microstates okay so this restricts the possible possible micro restricts okay so now uh, there is some more restrictions that is uh, the possible microstates is restricted now the value of this uh, probability phase uh, uh, space density is now much more restricted okay so in the next class we can be uh, so it's uh, uh, we can end the lecture here because in the next class we can uh, start uh, freshly with the ensembles okay so we can go for the micro canonical ensembles and study that okay and we can go for the uh, other ensembles okay so we'll be back in the next lecture